All right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about just a quick beginner setup guide for goldfish. Uh, I might repeat myself on a lot of stuff, but this is just gonna be a quick uh, how-to guide for beginners when it comes to goldfish. Coming up. All right, so let's talk about stuff you're gonna need. You're gonna need a tank, not a bowl, and I would recommend getting a bigger tank. Now, I would probably say start off with like a 40 gallon fish tank. That way you can have a couple goldfish. And I usually keep to the 20 gallons per goldfish rule, um, starting off with a 40 gallon tank. I don't know, you might think I'm crazy, but it definitely shows when it comes to the health of your goldfish uh, in the long run. Uh, the next thing, um, you don't necessarily need a heater. But if you're one of those people who has a freezing cold house in the middle of winter, uh, or maybe the fish tank is in a super cold room, uh, I would recommend maybe getting a heater just so you can keep the temperature stable and uh, don't set it for over 75 degrees. Maybe set it for, you know, 72, 71, 70, somewhere in there. Now, as far as filtration goes, you don't want to get too strong of a filter because, you know, goldfish, fancy goldfish at least, have uh, trouble when it comes to swimming uh, they're not the best swimmers I mean they're good but you don't want them to be blown around by a filter uh, they like it to be a little more low flow uh, but you can still meet your biological filtration requirements with a lower flow filter the filter on this tank is a 90 gallon Eheim canister filter and it's a 60 gallon aquarium so it's about 30 gallons over filtered according to their standards but that's a different conversation. Now when it comes to feeding your goldfish, you want to be feeding them an omnivore diet. So I use New Life Spectrum for my goldfish. Uh, I also feed a variety of other things, but as for beginners, I would recommend getting just a dedicated uh, goldfish pellet. Now when it comes to water changes, you want to make sure you do water changes at least once a week. With the way I have my tank set up and how I recommend it in this video, that's plenty of water changes. Do 50% once a week and make sure you use a dechlorinator. And you can buy a dechlorinator at pretty much any store that sells fish products. I use Seachem Prime. I know I say that in a lot of videos, but it pertains to beginners because you could kill your fish if you don't use it. And when it comes to doing water changes and just the ease of the hobby, having a bigger tank uh, with less stocking in it, meaning less fish, uh, makes maintenance a whole lot easier because you're not having to clean it as much. You could actually, if you had a big enough tank, get away with doing like once a month water changes. And my last piece of advice for a beginner is to constantly be learning about your pet. You know, you get these goldfish, you want them as a pet. So find a place to research them. I mean, not to plug my own channel, but I am a goldfish channel, well, an aquarium channel, but I'm focusing on goldfish right now. So this is a good place. But there's plenty of other uh, channels that you can learn about, too. Uh, there's there's websites you can go to. I mean, not everyone is accurate. I try to do my research before I make videos on pretty much anything. So, you know, I'm just saying. Do your research. That's the most important thing when it comes to any part of fish keeping. And when you do your research, you'll notice that I did leave some stuff out on this video. I just used this video as a quick step in the door for goldfish keepers to get them started and to keep their fish alive and healthy. But if you found this video helpful, then please consider subscribing and hit like, and I will see you guys on the next video. Toodaloo.